Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. Thanks so much for joining today. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I appreciate it. All right, we're starting out crazy backwards today. I want to show you basically um, how to do stickers because the Cricut can do just any sticker that you could possibly imagine. And it's a great, great feature that I think a lot of people get confused on. Um, I myself did not do stickers for a very long time. So I totally get it. It seems, you know, uh, it's a little bit different than just cutting, right? So I wanted to show you, this is what it looks like. So let's go to this. My daughter's in a book club and we are reading Ada Twist Scientist. So I wanted for each of the girls to have their own sticker to put inside the book because there's five girls, the books get all messed up. Um, so if you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see it. Um, I wanted to do stickers with their name, kind of in the same font with that kind of scribbly background. So keep in mind, this is what the book looks like. We're gonna start from scratch, okay? So let's go and let's go into design space. Oh, the sticker paper. Hands down, I absolutely love needle labels. Uh, right now, they're running a January sale, January 20 for 20% off. Don't use that code. Go to my link and use FANS25 and actually get 25% off. Um, I love this so much and it's so useful for gifts. Like if you did cookies and you wanted to do like homemade, you know, like um, made by or um, stickers for your envelopes, things like that. Um, I recommend buying a ton of paper. Don't buy the, the sampler package because um, it just costs so much more per sheet that I would recommend. I mean, I, I feel very confident that you will be making lots of stickers. I bought, I have hundreds of sheets here, um, in my studio actually. So there you go before I was even an affiliate. Um, all right, so let's go to design space. So I can show you how to get started. I want to show you this page because if you've already, like in this case, sometimes when I go to print, my printer, I have the Epson, the Workforce Epson 7720. Epson work, yes. <laughs> and a lot, it's an old printer. I, you know, it works well. It, when, um, when you look at the pictures, the stickers look like they're store bought. So it prints great, but sometimes like my feed gets stuck. So this is kind of a good tip for if you want to print again or in my case, like it got jammed and you need to print again. So if you look at this one, it's saying it's already been printed, but to print again, or because your printer got jammed, all you do is you click on printed and you can send to the printer. Let's talk about this though. So when you send it to the printer, you can select your printer. Um, and as soon as it lets me do that, I'll tell you what. <laughs> okay, so here's my Epson Workforce 7720, like I said. <laughs> you wanna make sure your bleed is on. Why that is important is because you see how my sticker is purple. And so when you add the bleed, what it does is it extends that sticker out, it adds more purple around it. So when my Cricut goes to cut it, I won't accidentally have a white edge to it. So I don't know if you can see here, but my sticker is completely purple. There's no white to it and you want to add bleed. You almost always want to add bleed. The only time that you don't want to add bleed is, let me think about this. Um, if you're doing like a sublimation project and you're not going to cut anything, so you don't want that, you don't want that extra, you know, like line tracing around it that's when you don't want it. Other than that, I mean, I feel like, I mean, I'm sure there, there, I could come up with another one. <laughs> so don't, I'm not betting on it, but for the most part, you will almost always want ad bleed. And then you go and you click print. After you print, you click on this and you set your material. So this is where Cricut drives me insane. I like using washi tape, washi sheet. So you click on this and you can select your material. They have sticker paper. It just feels like every time I click on sticker paper, it doesn't cut well. So what I did on this one is I cut on washi sheet 
And then once it was done, I hit the C again. I have a Cricut Maker. So when you click on the C, what happens is it doesn't pull your paper out. It keeps it in the way it was and it cuts exactly the same, um, the same outline that it did the first time. So it's like a double cut. So then um, I always test my paper. I lift it up and I try to take off the excess so it only leaves my sticker. And if it does, then I know I don't need to do it again. So that's kind of my like proofing. Although I am switching out my Cricut Maker and <clears throat> starting tomorrow, I'm gonna be cutting on the Cricut Maker 3 um, probably all the time. So anyway, I wanted to show you that. So then uh, on this one, I cut two sets of stickers. So I, you know, if you wanted to cut this or if you wanna print this one again, you select it, you go, you can look at what it looks like. So I have four stickers on there. Okay, then you click on printed and then you send to printer. So that's how you can print multiple times. So, um, all right, let's go and design this sticker, okay? So now that you know how to do that, I'm gonna click on finish and go back to the page. And I'm sorry, give me one second. There's no dogs inside and scared. Go. All right. So here are the stickers, and I'm still kind of going backwards because if you see, this is all attached. It's four stickers moving together as one. And the reason why I did that is because design space does not make, it's not the most efficient when it's putting all your stickers onto the paper to be printed. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. So the rule for print and cut is that you can only cut 6.75 inches by 9.25. So if you can see here, this is 6.4 by 8.5. I mean, my stickers are so big, there's really, I, I mean, I guess I could have added little stickers in here if I wanted to, but that's, that's what we have, right? So I'm gonna show you. So I have, I have eight stickers, right? And you saw on the previous screen that they, um, oh my goodness, that it cut on two sheets, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going, I attached them so that it moved as one piece, right? The four stickers became one sticker, technically. Um, I'm gonna detach it and I'm gonna show you the difference um, on how many sheets it would take to print this if we did not attach them like that, okay? So now each individual sticker is moving as one. So you can see that's eight separate stickers. So let's go to make it so you can see what that looks like. And I don't know what's going on. It's so slow today. Um, come on. Um, let's see, what else can I talk about while this is going? Um, if you really want to make, cause if you look at my, my paper, I could have added little stickers here. So if you were like, if you made a lot of stickers, I probably would have done, oh, you know what? It still did it on this one. All right. A lot of times it won't do that. It will take three sheets. So on this one, I guess maybe because it's all, you know, nice and neat, like little, almost four inch squares. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. All right. So it worked on this one, but a lot of times, trust me, you'll see when you start doing stickers, it will, um, it will take like three sheets. And on the third sheet, it might just have one sticker on it. So that's why you always want to try it. Um, you know, go and click make it before you arrange it. But Let's do this. Um, I thought I heard something that was weird. <laughs> okay. Um, all of these are pretty much the same, right? Okay. I think I'm hearing my dogs. <laughs> um, so you make one and then you make adjustments to them. So here's what I did. Let's go into images. And I'm gonna type in, uh, I don't even remember what I searched for. I'm gonna do science. And keep in mind what the sticker looked like. So, oops. Let's see if it's here. I 
think I might have done math instead. But under science, I did like the um, the little beaker that says this girl has solutions. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, all right, so here's all our science images. And I do, you know, I, for this reason, I do like having uh, Cricut access because I, I could have found all of these for free, but it would have taken so long to look them up, download it, upload it. So, you know, I definitely like having uh, the library that Cricut has, that Design Space has. Um, oh, this has, this is cute. Um, all right. It's taking so long. Um, this is cute, Science Squad. If you had like a group of girls in a club. Let's see, where is my... Um, all right, I don't see it and I don't remember scrolling this far down, so. Let me it's funny, isn't it? Um, all right, I'm gonna put solutions. And let's see. All right, here we go. So this girl has solutions. I like this one. I'm gonna click on this and it should highlight, which I already clicked on it, there we go, and add to Canvas. It will be added to our Workspace Canvas. Okay, so we've got that. I'm gonna move it over. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. Okay, then I'm going to search for that math. So I'm gonna click on images. I'm pretty sure it was under math. Um, here we go. And if this doesn't work, we can unflatten those stickers and find all those images. Okay. Wah. All right. The other cool thing about print then cut is you can customize your stickers to any colors. So I just love that as long as it is an SVG file first, then you can go in and you can customize each one of those pieces to a color that you want. So I'm, I was lazy and I did everything like I picked purple for the girls um, because from memory, I thought the book was purple, <clears throat> but now that I'm looking at it, it's sort of orange, but, um, oh my gosh, what is taking so long? But I just did all the different shades of purple. So the sticker came out. I mean, the sticker is so cute. It really, every time that I make stickers, I do, um, oh my gosh, I, it does feel like it's a professional sticker that I went and bought somewhere. So I absolutely love the stickers for, um, for tumblers. So like all of my daughter's drinks and they have a sticker. The nice thing about the white labels, um, from needle labels is that it is waterproof. So, um, oh my goodness, come on. I can't believe it's taking this long. Um, all right, let me see if I can get out of this. So yeah, so it's waterproof. I end up putting it on her notebooks, uh, tumblers, um, uh, pencil case, you know, any pretty much anywhere that you would put a normal sticker, uh, you can do that. Oh my gosh, this is so stuck. This is a horrible time to be doing this. Okay, let me see if I can get out of this. I'm gonna unflatten so that, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, delete some of this so maybe it will help the speed and I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to 
<laughs> just like this whole video tutorial so far, I'm going to work backwards. So you flatten everything so that it becomes one image so that you can print it. So I'm going to unflatten. I'm going to undo everything. Okay. And you can kind of see this itself is, um, it's math with math equations. So that was the, the original, um, image. So I'm going to go and change this to basic cut. So if you were to, you know, you can change the colors of this. So let's click on, let's say we want to do orange. The whole thing will turn orange, right? This right here, um, you can change this to blue, like a darker blue. Okay. And then the name, right? So I'm going to delete this little sticker right here. So just keep in mind so far, these two are just images, right? You can resize it, whatever. Let's go to text. And I did a stencil text font because I wanted it to look like the actual book. So I'm going to go in here and type in stencil. And I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to pick this one, cargo stencil, okay? And I'm going to do Charlotte. zoom in a little bit. We're going to make a gigantic sticker. <laughs> okay. So right now, as with all projects that I do, I don't care about the sizing. Um, what I want to do is I want to make sure that each, each of these components, these three components, uh, match with each other. So they're good in relations to each other. So if I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller and I want to do this speaker over here, Maybe something like, like this. And you can even overlap. If you overlap and you want this one on top, I'm going to arrange, send to the front so that it's sitting on the front. And then I'm going to have Charlotte down here. And Charlotte, what you could do is, let's ungroup this. You could change each one of these letters into a different color. So, and I want to show you that just so that you can see. So I'm going to just pick random colors. And the colors, when you go to print them, they come out so much more vibrant than what you see on here. Um, although once we flatten it, it does give you a really good um, feel for what it's going to look like. So. I mean, it's just a very, very cool feature. All right, almost done. I know I picked such a long name. Okay, here we go. All right, so now we've got all of this, right? I'm going to grab the whole thing because, oh, if I flattened it right now, what would happen is because there's no background, these are just images and the name, right? What will happen with the sticker is it will cut around each piece. So you won't have one sticker. You'll have like a hundred pieces. Like the C will be by itself. And actually the C will be in three pieces and you would have to peel off each one of these pieces, which we don't want. So what you, um, the way I like to do it is I like to grab the whole image and I'm going to do an offset. And the offset, we can keep it at a quarter of an inch. So with offset, this little ball right here, you can move this and make the offset bigger or smaller. Your even point, your zero point is right here. This is zero. So you can see it goes all the way around. I'm going to click apply. Now, I'm going to keep it black for now because it's easy to see. There's some spots that don't have anything, right? I want a full sticker sheet. I don't want little cutouts there. So because the black is still highlighted right now, I'm going to click on contour and I'm going to hide all. I want this to be one full flat black. I don't want these little cutouts. So I'm going to click hide all. And when we go back, you'll be able to see that it's all gone. Now it's one full black background, right? Um, you probably don't want black. I'm going to change that to white. And now if we flatten it, 
this sticker, actually, let's make a duplicate so that you can see this. So I highlighted everything, Control C, Control V, and that will duplicate it, or I could have just clicked on duplicate. <laughs> I'm so used to doing Control C and V. Um, so once it does that, we'll move it over. I'm gonna do two different backgrounds so that you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna move it over. Okay, so this first one, I'm gonna click on this, and we did a white background, right? So I'm gonna, this is, let's grab everything here and flatten it. So you can see, look at how many different pieces are in this sticker, right? All these single line items. When I go to flatten it, and look at the color change, right? The the orange is, you lose the, the black outline, so I just feel like it looks more vibrant. So this is what this sticker looks like, okay? On this one, let's change this background to a colored background. I'm gonna do a light, maybe a light, um, maybe, did I use this green? I'm trying to find a color that I didn't use. I'm not very good at it right now. Okay, that one's way too bright. We can go to advanced and we can do a lighter color there. All right, I'm just picking this one. Okay, so we have this, grab it all and flatten. And this is our other sticker, right? So it's gonna look more like these stickers, right? It's so easy and so fun, right? Um, so now it's gonna cut around this as opposed to each individual component within the sticker. So here are our two stickers. Um, this is a little bit too big, right? Because our sticker is, can only be 6.75. Um, oh! But this is okay, because this is under 6.75, this is under 9.25. So I'm actually gonna save these two and let's go to make it. So you can see how cool these stickers look. Um, so I like the using the offset because it, it makes, to me, it makes the sticker look more professional because it's around our actual image. So here's our first sticker, it's gigantic, right? Here's our second sticker in white, so it's gonna cut this background. And then here are the ones that I did be from before. Let me cancel out of this and I'm gonna show you something else. The other option, if you don't wanna use an offset or you are unable to use an offset for some reason, I'm gonna do this one because it's easier to see. I'm gonna unflatten. And if you don't want it to cut individually, right? I'm gonna get rid of this and you don't wanna do an offset, you can still do a different shape in the background. So for instance, you could do, um, maybe we do this shape. So you're gonna put it back here, you're gonna unlock it and make it so that this is completely in the background, okay? So I'm gonna arrange, send to the back, and you can change this color to green for instance oh green is not a good one because then you can't see the r oh goodness there okay so everything is covered within this piece so now if i go and grab this and flatten it will cut this like oval-ish shape and everything will be printed on that sticker so that way you won't have an individual C cutting out, an H cutting out, okay? Because you need a background to put everything on top of. All right, that is the full tutorial on print then cut for stickers. I hope that was helpful. I know that was crazy, but sometimes seeing the end product and working backwards makes more sense um, than if you were kind of building it along. I don't know, I have both <laughs> tutorials, so you guys can tell me which one is better. But I find that, you know, when you see things in different ways, uh, sometimes then all of a sudden it clicks. Anyway, let me know what you wanna see. I will be doing more of these because I still find that the questions, I get a lot of questions on print then cut, and it's such a cool feature um, that I think everyone that 
can use this to label. You can label everything um, or put stickers on everything as well. So, all right. Um, I will see you guys next time. Let me know in comments what you want to see. If you have more questions, have a great day. Bye.